Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, artist and Bible journaler here on YouTube, and I'm going to create a very simple watercolor today that hopefully will encourage you to try it. In Psalm 131, the scripture says, But I have calmed and quieted myself. I am like a weaned child with its mother. Like a weaned child, I am content. And I am getting closer to content. <laughs> you might have noticed lately I've been a little on the disquieted side of late. And I'll talk about kind of my feelings a little bit later in this video. But first, the pattern. You need a bunch of horizontal lines that are approximately the same width apart. I'm using half the width of my ruler. So I'm making a line above and below, making a tick mark in the middle, and then making another above and below so that I end up with even-ish lines. To make the triangles, choose one angle for the side of one triangle, do a 90 degree from it the opposite direction, and then you can just follow along because you can line it up where the corners meet. So zooming in here a little bit, you can see the ruler lining up where the two lines meet in one direction, and then you just do the same the other direction, and you end up with triangles. Don't stress out about measuring everything and making it perfect. This is not perfect by any means, but it's going to be enough that it's going to feel like it works when I get the whole thing done. This is being done in an interleaved Bible, so it has a whole blank page, and I'm going to do the entire blank page. If you have one that just has a column down the side, you could do a pattern like this down the side, or you could do it over the whole thing, just use really light colors when you're going over the text. This particular type of pattern is challenging to do over top of text because it has real contrast between the areas you've painted and the areas you've not painted. So just know that you'd have to go with very light colors. What I'm going to do is just do beautiful blues because this verse is all about peace and being at peace. And I thought that would be a perfect color for this, something very relaxing and very content. And with each one of these, you can paint in water in each section. Don't make it really puddly because, of course, Bible paper will crinkle. But paint enough water in there that the color will move and then choose all of your different blues. You could also do this in any colorway. You could do it as a rainbow pattern across the whole page if you wish. But just remember that the more colors you add, the more challenging it will be. It's really easy to do this with blues because I'm just dropping in any old blues, dark blues, light blues, and, and just letting them blend with each other. And it's a way to just kind of do it meditatively and not have to think really hard because the journaling portion is going to be added on a tip in later. So I'm just covering this whole thing with beautiful color. And I said I would talk a little bit about where I'm at right now. In my last few videos, I've talked about being in states of flux over a number of things. And some of that is starting to settle down. I still don't have resolution to a number of things, but my heart is settling down. And some of that may come from saying yes to God in a few areas. He's been asking me to do some things, one of which is to teach a Bible study. And I'm going to actually be doing that at my church. I'm kind of nervous and excited and petrified and all that at once. But it was like when I said yes, when I was asked to do that, this time I have a piece about me that I didn't have before. So if God's been poking at you to do something, even if you feel, I, I was kind of feeling like I was not settled enough to say yes to anything, but even if you don't feel settled enough, if God's asking you to do it and you know it's him, then just do it because he's going to meet you in the midst of that. I'm ironing my page once it's dry. Just put a sheet of paper above and below it so that that would keep the iron protected and flatten things out just a little bit. And then I took a sheet of vellum. I find vellum works better than tracing paper for tip-ins, for me at least, because it's a little heavier. And you, there are heavy vellums and less heavy vellums. I use the less heavy one in my Bible just because I don't want to make the book really thick. And I use... A corner rounder, because most of my Bibles have rounded corners. There's all different kinds of corner rounders. And then I use this tape called Be Creative Tape. It's a double stick tape, and it's very, very sticky. So I line up the outside edge first and then push to the inside to get the thing to line up just right. 
the last step is to add the scripture and the text. And I'm going to write it in a Sharpie marker over top of the pencil sketch that I did of the text below it because I'm doing this on vellum. So I don't have to worry about a Sharpie bleeding through. And if you've ever struggled with that, then tip-ins are a great way to do that. And the vellum that I use is linked in the supplies list way down below in the YouTube description if you're interested in trying some of it. Also with the typography, I tend to pick a few words that are really important, make them big. So calmed and quieted were really important to me in this verse and then used my handwriting for the rest of it. If you're interested in learning how to do that kind of typography, and I, I try not to make mine look like everybody else's because God made my handwriting as he made it. And if you want to do that with your handwriting, my typography class will help you to understand letter forms a little bit, understand how to put together verses so that the most important things are the most important things, and to do them in the way that God made you to do them then by all means, there's a typography class over on my teaching site and it celebrates you and how God made you, doesn't try to turn you into every other Bible journaling letterer out there because we don't all letter the same way. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you like seeing watercolor stuff, go to my personal Instagram, Sandy Allnock over on Instagram because I've been doing little short videos every single day during the month of July. And I will see you guys again next week. Leave a comment in the doobly-doo below if there's something God asked you to do that you're willing to say yes on. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.